And the secular world picture, what it tries to do, consciously or not, is basically combine a often intensely moralistic uh, political and social world picture that is influenced by Christianity in various ways without being in any way explicitly Christian with a picture of the cosmos that is materialistic in a, in a fairly strict sense, maybe not the strictest sense, but a fairly strict sense. And that's, that basic worldview therefore combines a sort of high-minded humanitarian ambition, um, sometimes a sort of strident sense of a strident thirst for justice, a, you know, the, the, the stuff that gets described by people on the conservative side of politics as wokeness or social justice, warriorness, and so on. All of that can fit within the secular world picture, this idea that the world is out of joint and should be put right, that there are great injustices that need to be resolved. And then that is combined with a pretty reductionist view of what human beings actually are, the possibility for meaning, purpose, design, and so on in the cosmos. Um, so that's one world picture. And I think if you added up the number of Americans who subscribe to it fully, you'd be looking at a pretty small slice of the population, but it's a very influential slice of the population. 